really cold this morning, so seriously, look. Look at all the ice on my, my brand new spare tire. So yeah, this is all done now, so more to come on that later. But without further ado, welcome back to a beautiful day here in the great state of Texas. It's a cold day, it's gonna warm up, but let's see if both cars are out, because something's in the garage. No, it's, it's probably not what you think, and it's not that exciting, but it is. It's not a car, so we'll just say that. Before we get to any of that, there's a quick little car meetup I'm going to this morning. Found out about it last night. Well, I knew about it, I just, I forgot. But we're going, hopefully the cold doesn't keep people away like the rain did last time. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed. So needless to say, it was definitely worth braving the cold because the infamous one and only R8 has showed up. So this thing is the V8, but VF engineering supercharger. So it's over 500 horsepower to the wheel and it's been converted to rear wheel drive. So it is just a track monster. And I know you're curious if someone who's 6'3", like myself, can fit in it. So we're, we're gonna give it a shot. Here we go, here we go. So, it's, you know, it's a little snug, but I can fit in it. And now that I know I can fit in it, I want one even a little bit more. So now we just need a GTR We compare the two of them and then in a couple years, you know, make one happen. Look at all the carbon fiber all over this car. It is so nice to be inside of. Now the R8 is really cool, but it's it's not the most unique thing here somehow. This, it's got a V8 in it. Is it a motorcycle? Is it a car? I guess that's up for you to decide, because honestly, I don't know what to call it. Other than cool. And somehow they have brought the boat to the car show, so who knew? They can go on land. But one of the most beautiful cars that we see coming to these shows, the Lincoln Continental, one of my all-time favorites. This one is just pristine, and yes, it is on bags. That air system is so nice. I really, there's like nothing, nothing that I can point out that is wrong with this car. It is awesome. I think it's for sale too. Obviously a little out of the price range along with most everything here, but you know, maybe one day, maybe one of you guys. So we got carbon fiber on carbon fiber today with the Audi R8 and all its carbon bits. And then look at all the carbon on this thing. That is insane. And uh, what? Nitrous? Okay, I see you, I see you. But hey guys, we're making progress here, so we're no longer the only trucks of the show. There's two Silverados, so F-150 guys, please help me out, help me out. Now we have a really big show tomorrow. I'm hoping I can get some F-150s out there because I'm tired of being outnumbered. I need some friends. I didn't even see this car pull up, guys, but the new GT500 has showed up. I love that color on it. It looks so sleek. You know, I keep saying that I prefer like the 2013 GT500 over these, but every time I look at them, I don't know, they look so killer. And the sound of these are just, it, it, I don't even know, it's unrivaled. And the interior on this one too, with the white accents, I love this spec. I really do. Well guys, strange turn of events. We're going for a ride in the R8. I am so excited. Never been in one of these things. Ride at 55 the entire time, guys. That is addicting. I need one. Supercharger? Yeah. Those downshifts are insane. That is insane. downshifts make the entire thing like that's a whole different experience goodness okay so that was absolutely incredible that car is stupid fast like 
it's an, it's really impressive. And around those corners, just glue. So I'm really, I, I won't look really bad, but Shelby. One Shelby wasn't enough. We got another one here now. I guess to replace this is that one left. Now I really do love gray and blacks and whites and stuff on a car. You know, that's kind of obvious since it's gray, black, and white. But anyway, this red on here, I, is it the ruby red? I, I don't know. It looks like it. This really fits the car really well and I do love that color. Okay, so riding in that R8 was an absolute blast. The R8's always been one of my dream cars and that one is like, that one is built. So hopefully it's not the last chance. I really enjoyed, you know, getting to talk about it and just look at it. All that carbon fiber and all the race pieces on there. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. So I don't know, now all we need, we need to ride in the GTR so we can kind of see. And then I'm seriously, I'm gonna make like, for I say four years. I, I'm gonna say that's not optimistic. We're gonna make that happen, I believe. But now we have a lot of things to do today for a big car show tomorrow where, yep, you got it. We have a booth. Yes, yeah, so we're making big moves, boys. We're getting the booth out there. We're gonna show up, show out. So hopefully I'll end up seeing you there. Now, hopefully it's not gonna be too windy, but I think this is the setup we're going with. Candy in that, of course. But yeah, I think it's gonna turn out nice. Of course, yeah, this isn't, it's not the most, uh, I, don't know, I don't know the word. It's not the most conventional way of testing things. I'll be honest with that. The uh, whole tent in the garage might be a little unconventional, but it's out of the wind and you know, when have we been conventional? But since the meet's tomorrow, the truck's a disaster. So we really need to watch this thing. And I want to show you the good and the bad on this channel, full transparency. So here's some bad wrap. This was peeled back today. And you might notice there's supposed to be a piece right there. Yeah, so here it is. It, it kind of, <laughs> I heard it come off and yeah, it, it ripped and it just, I peeled the rest of it off. So the first casualty of the wrap, besides where the emblem is, is a uh, nice shiny black piece, RIP. There will undoubtedly be more to come that peel off, but that's why we have extra so we can just put more back on, I guess. But it's the name of the game when you wrap it yourself and probably don't prep right. So just gotta live with it. So yeah, this thing is, pretty pretty filthy so it definitely needs a good cleaning before the show tomorrow so okay much better i haven't dried it yet because i, I got to go to the detail garage and pick up some tire shine because yeah i i ran out poor planning so I'm, I'm just gonna air dry it but it's not really dirty anymore and i have to be so gentle washing this thing because of the wrap there's some pieces that kind of come off if you're too hard so yeah, that's why I don't want anybody else to wash it because it's gonna come back with pieces missing. And we don't want that. But off to the detail garage so we can get some tire shine and finish this up and then work more on the booth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, he is back. I know, don't get too excited, but Jacob is here. He's gonna help us with the show. So here's kind of what we got going on. Of course, made a little representation thing. Got a whole bunch of plates that I'm gonna set up. Shirts and hats. Yeah, the easy up's gone because honestly it was, it was a little too large. But we gotta get up bright and early tomorrow morning so we can set the booth up and everything. It's the first time for the both of us. So yep. it's gonna be a big, big learning experience. But I'm hoping everything goes well. I'm still gonna film a little bit at the show obviously because you got to, I can't leave y'all hanging. But without further ado, it is time for this video to end, so. Yes sir. Thank y'all for watching, y'all come back. Yeah, I know, I, I kind of put you on the spot yeah, for that. Sorry. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, I hope y'all enjoyed the R8 because honestly, we're starting 2021 off on a pretty high note for car experiences, but hopefully there's more to come on that as I'm sure there will be. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video.